brother like me. <laughs> Watch your brother come in here and show Megan Anderson how to call a damn fight. That's what I'm finna do. Oh man, I'm looking at Tina Black. Silver. Okay. Everybody know we're gonna get the best blow by blow commentary right here. Boy, look at the damn girl silver. The damn girl silver letting them hands go. She letting them go, ladies and gentlemen. Smash that like button. Yeah, Machado Black, that's her name. I'm going for Machado Black, man. I like the hairdo. Oh, man, that spinning back fist. Hell, that spinning back fist would have landed on that. That would have did some damage, okay? Now, Machado Black looked like she's skipping along the damn yellow brick road or something, man. She need to calm down, go ahead and pump that jab, and set this damn thing up the way it need to get set up, okay? Now, those are the coaches. That's what the coach thinks needs to happen, okay? And, of course, when the coach tells you something, you damn well better listen to what the coach is telling you, okay? I'll tell you that right now. Um... Damn. Mm. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, buddy. My God. Huh. Yeah, hey, man. Damn. Damn, Silver ain't playing. I'm going to tell you something, though. I like that right cross by Tina Black, man. I like it. Oh, oh, damn. Yeah. Silva is a tough-ass woman. Damn, she tough as hell. I'll tell you that right now. She real tough. But the fact of the matter is, man, is that... Oh, good takedown by Tina Black. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, man. I think that takedown stole around for her, man. Machado Tina Black. Machado Black. Uh-oh. She trying to get some damage done. She trying to get some damage done. Folks, that's just what it is. Oh, man. That was easy work. Okay. Man. Very close round. I kind of, I kind of happen to agree with Megan Anderson a little bit. I don't agree with Megan Anderson too much, but damn, just a little bit. Um, yeah, that uppercut, man. If Machado could have landed that uppercut, what's up, Marcus Bell? I'm giving this raw color commentary, man. Man, look, Silver looked like, <laughs> hey, Marcus Bell, Silver looked like, man. Silver looked confused up in there when she got taken down. She looked confused as hell. Hey, man, there go George Page up in the got dog on building, man. There go that brother George Page, man. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Joseph Cordonero. Boy, he's sending me all these Latino women. My God. Joseph Cordonero. Man, what you trying to do, man? My Facebook account finna blow up because of you. Ooh, buddy. Toledo Bernardo. Toledo damn Bernardo. God damn. All right, man. I'm just so... I don't know. George Page, you know what it is. She said, look at the hat. Ah, uh, damn. That's what's up, though, Toledo. Hey, uh... Yeah, man, Machado Black, that's a beast, man. You're right, Marcus Bell. They need to get Machado Black up in the god dog on building, man. They do. Um, I know Invicta live streams don't do a whole lot, but you know what? Hey, the coach is right here right now doing his thing. Okay. Oh, Tina Black, Machado Black. <laughs> hey, man, she got a little swag, but look. This girl, Silver, man, is, is not doing a good job of cutting off the octagon. And see, this is the problem, okay? Silva is going to keep having a problem with uh, Machado Black if she can't cut off that damn octagon. See, what I think uh, Black need to go on and do, okay? Uh, George, you got to enlighten me. Hold on. I saw that BS, DC, and Stephen A. Smith did. Oh, uh, man, what they do, man? They did some tap dancing. I mean, what, George? You got to help me out. I don't know, man. I've been out the loop lately. But I'm going to tell you all something, George. Um, Tina Black need to go ahead, man. And just go ahead and put put her foot on the damn gas. She need to put her foot on the damn gas and get Silva out of there. Silva is a walking head kick ready to go, George Page. I kid y'all not. Okay, I like Silva. I see, I think Silva is a good fighter, man. I think Black got more, man. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. 
Black tried to go for a takedown. Let me text it. Okay, here, let me check my phone, George. I got a text from General Africa. What's up, General Africa? Okay. All right. This is an Invicta card. Yeah, man. Yeah, combo. Let me tell you, man. This girl, Black. I like this girl, Black. I just wish she'd go ahead and put her foot on the gas, man. Because uh, she got very, very good technique, man. It's just, and she moves so well and so smooth, man. I just I, I, I just want little Pit Boy to go ahead, combo, and put her foot on this damn gas, man. That's what I need her to do. I need her to put the foot on the gas and really, really start letting them hands go. Because this girl Silver smaller than her, man. Smaller than her. She, she can't move. Flat-footed. Man, look. Machado should be whooping her ass. She should be whooping her ass. Okay. Top five fighters of all times. What? They got Khabib Nurmagomedov ahead of Muhammad Ali. <laughs> oh man, this a coon. Oh, sorry. All uh, right. I'll talk about them later, George. I'm gonna focus on this fight right now. That that's that's some BS, man. Oh, uppercut by Black. Uppercut. Oh, 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 good takedown by Machado. Machado got that takedown. Okay. Yo, yo, yo. She could have put Silver in a damn crucifix if she wanted to. She could have. Damn. Hey, man, this damn referee got on a pair of church shoes up in there. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Yo, yo, Machado finna drag her to the ground. Machado gonna drag her to the ground. I think what need to happen, man, Machado could have took the back, and she should have took the back. I would have done, me, if it were me, I would have done a standing Kimura. I would have done, oh, good takedown by Machado. Hey, man. Hey, man. <laughs> this girl right here, Black, the UFC need to get this girl, man. They need to pick her up, man. She good. Okay? I like this girl. I like her style. I like how she made an adjustment, man. She stopped bagging up, and she just went ahead and got that damn takedown, man. Yo, that's what's up. All right, oh, 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 she got, okay, she got the back of Silver. Okay, now, she's got to soften up them arms. She got to soften Silver up, man. Okay, uh-oh, it's under the chin. It's under, hold on, let me take my, let me take, let me, let me take my, hold on, no, she's not under the chin, man. Okay, she's punching on the top of the head. All she got to do, man, is get, man, she can get that arm up under the chin. Okay, now what uh, Machado is doing, man, is putting her hands over her mouth, man. And that's a classic technique, man, to get somebody to move their damn hand. But all Silva got to do is roll, okay? Just turn. Turn her hips inside that guard of Machado, and she'll be on top. Oh, man. Man, Machado ain't letting her go, man. Machado is dominating this round. Okay, Silva just trying to cover up, man. Ain't nothing Silva can do. Okay. She tried. Silva tried. Silva tried to turn them hips, man. But Machado is so damn smart, bro. She's so damn smart. Okay. Yeah, man. Yeah, some of them people, some of those people, they needed to be cut, man. Like Shayna Young. Yeah, man, she should have been up out of there, man. They should have been got Shayna Young up out of there, man. Juarez, yeah, she should have been up out of there too, man. They just been in the UFC getting their ass whooped. George, that's what they've been doing, Combo. Yeah, man, the UFC, they need to sign her. But, you know, I don't know, man. We have to see, man. I mean, she Brazilian. She Brazilian, man. So, you know, the UFC, they'll sign a Brazilian in a minute. Yeah, oh, Ramona Pascal. Yeah, man, Ramona Pascal need to go, too. I thought Ramona Pascal was actually going to be good, man. You know, looking at some of her film, and it's like, man, she got into the UFC, man, and she nutting. She nutting up in the UFC. And it's like, she just, she going there, and I hate the way that she accepts position. I can't stand that. It's like, no, why do you lay there and just get your ass whooped? You got you to gotta move, okay? You, you, I mean, you've got to move. You got to do something. To not accept the position. All right, this round number three, man. I'm pulling. I'm pulling for Machado, man. I like Machado Black. I love Machado Black. Ooh, good leg kick by Silva though. Great leg kick by Silva. But Silva is is messing up because Silva don't know how to cut off the octagon. She don't know how to cut the octagon off, man. This 
it's crazy, man. Like you get to this level and your trainers ain't taught you. You're following Machado around. And see, and folks, let me go ahead and educate you guys on some technique, okay? When you follow your opponent around the octagon, what you do is you allow them to pump the jab and you allow them to catch you doing something, just like Machado Black just did just now. Okay? She let she let Silva follow her around the octagon and then she led Silva into a takedown. Okay, that's what it is. You know, you, you have to know how to cut the octagon off. That drives me insane when a fighter does not know how to cut off the octagon. It drives me insane. Okay? Now, what Black need to do is really, really pump that jab and go on to get Silva out of there, man. Because Silva not moving ahead. All she's doing is coming straight ahead, man. It's like there's nothing, there's nothing special about Silva. No special effects. This girl, this girl, Machado Black, is very exciting, man. She's an exciting fighter. Exciting as hell, man. Okay? Like, real. Okay? And shout out to Toledo Bernardo, man. I mean, she repped my brand hard. Well, George, I, I, I'll say this about Odessa, okay? I'll say this about Odessa. Yes, I got a little pissed off at Odessa, man. I got real pissed off. And I have to tell you why, but... I, I gotta say, man, Odessa was fighting against a much bigger girl, man. But damn, did y'all see how the way Pone, Pone was looking at Odessa, man? She wouldn't even take a seat, man. That shit was crazy. <laughs> she was looking dead at Odessa, man. Look, she broke Odessa. She broke Odessa in half, bro. Like, dude, uh, she ain't take no water. She ain't do nothing, man. She looked Odessa in the eye and just broke Odessa. Odessa, by third round, Odessa was defeated, bro. She was defeated. I'm saying like, man, you just let her whoop your ass like this. And I like Odessa, but Odessa be talking a lot of shh. <clears throat> Y'all remember she talked that shh to Isis Rabik? And man, uh, Isis Rabik went in there and just whooped that ass. Yeah, Poem was like, man, look, I got to eat. <laughs> Poem was like, I got to eat. That's, that's what Poem was doing. She said, I got to eat. Pone said, I got to eat, and I'm finna whoop this ass. And that's what she did. Pone came in there and took care of business, man. I ain't had no problem. I like Pone. I like how she just went in there. Because, you know, uh, she was talking about how Helen Peralta whooped her ass. And, you know, a good ass whooping boy, that will take you back to the promised land. Make you go back to the beginning. Go back to the basics. <laughs> Man, look, Machado is taking this fight, bro. She don't do nothing else. But I don't like when fighters think, when they think they got the fight won, they try to just, you know, do less and just go to the scorecards. I think that's the dumbest thing that you can do, okay? Never go to the judge's scorecard if you can help it. Man. Oh, Black is clipping this girl every chance she get. Wow. Wow. But I like Silva. Silva going for it, man. At least Silva ain't sitting back, man, trying just, you know, giving up. Yeah, Black, she look tired, man. She's going to get that cardio under wrap. She's going to have to get the stamina under wrap, bro. Because I can tell she winded and she don't want to engage no more. Okay? Yeah, Black don't want to engage no more. It's pretty much it's it's pretty much a done deal. It's a done damn deal. Um... Man, been a while since I did an Invicta card. Wow. And I got all late. Alright, so who you guys got winning this fight? Oh, Machado Black. Takedown. Another takedown. Alright, Machado Black got this, guys. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. They going for it. Oh, man. Machado counterpunching was on full display. All right. All right, man. Black won that fight easy, bro. Black won that fight easy. Easy like Sunday morning. 
Easy like Sunday morning, black. Yeah, you know, black was trying to, you know, I think she was just really, really trying to, yeah. Almost like, man, she didn't want to, like, ex exert herself. She ain't work. She really didn't want to do that. <sighs> yeah, I think Black won the fight, though. It was easy. Silver, Silver didn't really do anything special, man. Silver just kept, you know, walking up into it. And, and, you know, and you have to do something, man. You got to, if you go into the scorecard, you have to make the judges understand that you're trying to win the fight. Okay. Silver landed a couple of good shots, man, but, you know, it was far and few between. And see, and Machado Black, she knew. She knew, like, hey, I, I ain't finna brawl with this girl, man. I ain't finna brawl, so guess what she did? Took the fight to the ground. She took the fight to the ground, man. <laughs> I got a song. Where XA at? Got a song for XA. <laughs> oh, XA, I know you're a fan. Please stop asking for that rectal hand exam. Let's rock. Now, nah, let me start picking at XA. That's my boy. I mean, it was a good fight, though. It was a good fight. So let's talk about DC and Stephen A. Smith, man. Oh, my goodness. Okay. DC and Stephen A. Smith. Salute to that brother, George Page, man. Salute to George Page. Um, these two goofballs. Okay. These two goofballs. They put an all-time top five list. Okay. <laughs> and they were justifying it. They said Floyd Mayweather is number one. Wow. Wow. Khabib Nurmagomedov is number two. Muhammad Ali was number three. Who the fuck? Georgia St. Pierre and Amanda Nunes. Come on, man. Fighters? See, okay, I can understand if you want to... Uh... <laughs> yeah, Tina Black won. That's all right. My girl won. Okay, I can understand if you do an MMA all-time fighters. But first of all, the first thing they did, man, was they mixed boxing and MMA. And that don't make a complete hill of being a sense, man. Don't make no sense at all. Just stupid, okay? They needed one for MMA. They needed one for boxing, okay? Damn. Yeah, I ain't gonna put Floyd above Ali. I put him above Khabib, but not Ali. We're talking about DC. This is the same man that's got a fireplace with bunnies on it, okay? This is a guy with bunnies on his fireplace. I mean, do y'all really think y'all can listen to this dude? I mean, damn, man. DC got them bunnies. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I think Car I thought Carolina lost her fight, man, to be honest. I thought uh, DePaula won. I thought DePaula won that fight. In my opinion, I thought she did win, but, you know, it is what it is. Hey, Toledo Bernardo's supposed to come out wearing some of my gear. She's supposed to. Like, she she put some of my team, my club team for my kids. Yeah, man, she put that shit on. Like, Toledo Bernardo on sex herself. <laughs> Ah, damn, George Page said Daniel Cormier used, had to use the bathroom at the gas station when he comes to the house. Damn. Yeah, man, I, I wouldn't, man, I wouldn't invite D.C. to my house. Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> Let me see who Tina Black gonna call out, though, y'all. Oh, hell. Katarina Lana, boy. That's an Instagram sensation. Nah, 
let's see. Let's see where the big face at. Uh oh. Boy, they got a lot of straw weights, man. This straw weight tournament is hell, though. I ain't gonna lie. Okay? I ain't gonna lie. This straw weight tournament is hell. I like it. And we got some people up here. They on fire. Nah, Carolina lost a fight, man. They robbed DePaula. I thought DePaula won, man. And I thought DePaula in the round three, DePaula just, she let it hang out. She let it hang out. But I want to I wanna talk about Alyssa, Melissa Odessa, man. You know, sometimes taking a fight on short notice is good. Sometimes, you know, make, you know, helping a fight promotion put the fights on is good. But I think in this case with Melissa Odessa, I just, I don't think, man, that this is a good idea, man, because you're moving up in weight. You got to fight somebody bigger. And then you know the person, when you move up in weight to fight them, you know they walk around heavier than that. So you know they're bigger than what you are. Um, but Melissa Odessa got one of them attitudes that, you know, that she can uh, she can do anything. And, you know, sometimes, could I have told her, man, because we were talking about Carissa Shields. And I said, you know, she can't. I said, Melissa, she's not going to be able to come in there and just really take the fight to Amanda Nunes. Me and Alyssa was, me and Melissa Odessa was having this uh, argument. And I said, you, you know, there's no way that Carissa's going to come in and beat top tier MMA fighters. She can't do it in her first year. It's not happening. And Melissa Odessa said, well, anything can happen. You know, ain't no limits on people. I said, so Melissa, you think that Carissa Shields is going to come, come off the street with boxing experience only and beat Amanda Nunes? I mean, she could do anything she want to do, set her mind to it. You know, I understand that. That's the that's truth. However, also, what about all the time that Nunes put in to being who she is? So are you saying that, that, that that's not important? Like, are you trying to say that because Carissa has such great athleticism, that that was going to trump all the years and years of grueling jiu-jitsu practice, wrestling practices, when she only had one, just one discipline. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah. All right. This girl right here finna get up on there. Yeah, yeah. it's just, it's like she just, and I understand, you know, but she had this attitude with me, like, she's a fighter, and I'm not the fighter, and I'm like, you know, and I'm like, well, Melissa, I boxed for 10 years, I understand the fight game, I, I get it, and I said, put Carissa Shields in there with Amanda Nunes, and she gonna get destroyed, I don't know, I, I think Carissa can do what she wanna do, I said, yeah, I believe in it, but in MMA, there's there's time. You have to have time, okay? And you ain't gonna finna tell me that you finna go in here and dominate somebody with more time on the ground than somebody who ain't done anything. Crazy. It's people, man, and I tell you this, guys. It's people that they... They, what's the word I'm looking for, man? What's the word I'm looking for? Hell, I'll try to find it. Um, yeah, George Melissa, yeah, she do think she, she bad. She really badass. She do. And you just, you got to settle that shit down sometime, man. <clears throat> you got to settle it down and you got to look at rationality. And I told her, I said, well, Carissa, she was going to lose to Abby. Well, I, she said, well, I got Carissa. I said, okay. I said, you can you can try to tell me that a box and a pair of hands is good to be in the octagon. I mean, your jiu-jitsu got to be on point. I said, Melissa, you, you took you take jiu-jitsu. Now, at the time, she only said, well, I only had it. I pretty much only had it for, uh, I pretty much only had it for a couple of years and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, but you still have some. Like, I'm saying Carissa Shields has none. Okay. Tay Tay, what does TWT mean? I see a lot of people with that TWT. What the hell does that mean? I don't know what that means. All right. Hmm, 
Okay. Yeah. Uh-oh. Damn girl from Ireland dancing. <laughs> dancing like here. The winning team. Oh, okay. The winning team. Okay. Oh, big and Anderson. I wish I can be that live calling the fight with Megan Anderson. Oh, me and yeah. Megan be arguing all night. How did he get a job here? This is my setup. That's what she would say. The popcorn fish lead. Damn. Oh, the PFL? Yeah, you know I ain't gonna pay for that. I ain't paying for that mess. Uh, man, I, I would have paid for this Invicta. I would have paid for this Invicta car. Hell, this Invicta car more entertaining. Nah, I mean, you know, if Pacheco go in here and beat Kayla Harrison. <laughs> oh, hell. Hell. You know. Oh, hell, I got to get on the job. I get on the job. I got to put down who fighting. Sure, that she's something like a. Uh oh, uh oh, they fighting. Oh, girl from Ireland. Somebody getting knocked out in this fight. Man. Hey. This girl in the red. Damn, she got some tight. She got a tight right hand. I like it. And I like how she cutting off the octagon. This girl, what, McCormick? Yeah, this girl McCormick got some hands, man. Yeah, man. I like her hands. And she appeared to move ahead, too. Okay, so girl in the red, let me see, that overhand left, but I'm going to tell you why this girl here, McCormick, is able to set this stuff up, is because she's doing a magnificent job, uh oh, 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 the, the Brazilian girl getting her ass whooped, she getting her ass whooped, that's going to be over, she's trying to get away, she's trying to fight back, it's not going to work. Stop the fight. She went for a takedown. She getting her ass whooped, y'all. Oh, man. This McCormick girl, girl from Ireland, is whooping her ass. Now she got about a neck trying to get took the back. Oh, man. See, what McCormick should have did, man, she should have got her ass up, man. She should have got up. Oh, she flattened out. It's over. If she flattened out, it's over. It's a wrap. Okay. What McCormick need to do though, man, she should have let her get back up because the girl is concussed now. I mean, the girl is concussed. She's very concussed. So, you know, go ahead and let her back up because you can knock her smooth the hell out. Damn, boy. <laughs> boy, I smell an ass whooping. Man, 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 man. This this Brazilian girl. Ooh, buddy. Oh, my God. This girl in the red can fight. Oh, man, okay. <laughs> Joy's talking about the Brazilian chick look too old to be a fighter. Yeah, man. Uh oh. 
Ricardo. Yeah, that's why we can talk. <laughs> George said Brazilian chief looks too old to be a fighter. Oh, yeah. Wow, drop my phone. Ah, okay. This fight kind of getting a little boring. Just a little bit boring. But this girl, well, yeah, it started out pretty explosive. But I tell you what, this girl from Irish, from Ireland, God, dog. Hey, man, she just taking the fight to this Brazilian girl, and she all over. Hell, that's the end of the round. Yeah, round number one in the books. I should have waited. Damn, I should have waited. Combo says she peppering her like chicken. Damn sure it is. Tan her ass up, man. Yeah. Yeah, the ref, the ref really should have stopped this fight. Because if this girl come back. <laughs> George said Carla lost the belt, so she need to cook cookies. Oh, damn, George. That's messed up, man. Oh, damn, Misha Tate giving her advice? Oh, hell. Yeah, you finna get knocked out now. Yeah, I ain't see Misha Tate. Misha Tate is there giving you advice. You can better bet your bottom dollar you finna, a knockout is coming. <laughs> you finna get knocked the hell out. Yeah. Damn, I agree with Megan twice. Oh, man. <laughs> this girl in the red can box her ass off. Mm. Oh, okay. Mazar tried to get a takedown. Oh, damn good takedown. Yeah. Oh, she on this back. Hey, man, she on this girl back like her damn, like she's Spider-Man or some shit. Damn. <laughs> oh wow she finna get choked out combo Danny about to go oh wow
I'm gonna have to find somebody. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, come on, I agree. I don't think she's a bad trainer. Oh, here we go. Mm. Yeah. Oh, good kick. Hey, man. Ah, uh, man, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, girl. Irish girl clocked in the side of the head. Uh-oh, they're letting their hands go. Oh, that's the end of the fight. Three rounds in the books. Let me see. Hold on. Okay, now we're going into round three, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, this fun is boring. Well, okay, might be. This fight been long and drawn out, y'all. Oh. Let me see. Make him connect. Sorry, y'all. Oh. Oh, snap. It's going to be over now. Damn good takedown. No, it's not going to be over. I lied to y'all. It's not going to be over at all. But, uh, you know, the Irish girl in the red got good, you know, she got a takedown, and now she on top. Okay. All right, so the one chicken red in the high guard of the chicken in green. Damn.
or something over there. Uh-oh. Damn, she choking her, y'all. Oh, wow. Bro, they letting their hands go in this last round. Hmm. Damn, y'all. Probably so. It's it's young got boring now. Okay, the girl in the green, man, this is her get this fight over with. Sorry, 11 o'clock, man, hurry up. Uh-oh. Yeah, she gave it up. <laughs> Girl trying to do a judo hip toss. That ain't finna work. Baby, you going for the ride. Okay, we'll see that. Oh, uh, man. That fight was boring, bro. It was boring. I can't even lie. Mm. Oh, uh, man, let's see who won this fight. Yeah, a lot of experience. Talking about bad luck. <laughs> Damn.
<laughs> George, you crazy. Yeah, I knew McCormick was going to win. Mm. That was a good fight. <laughs> no, that wasn't good. Man. Guthrie. Ooh, buddy. Man, I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to stay on top of this. Ooh boy, it's hard. Yeah, Misha Tate was the one saying that she she remember she was uh talking about OnlyFans and how you know that uh she ain't gonna do it. God, oh yeah, man. Bridget Chase, man. Bridget Chase look like a Halloween character. I'm not, I ain't even joking. She like a Halloween character, bro. She like she could literally legit. Like being somebody haunted house scaring everybody and shit, man. Like, God dang. Man, she coming out here dancing. You can't you she don't even know how to dance. Yeah, dancing, Bridget. Damn. I don't know, she seemed like one of them ones that come out real like real cocky. And then, you know, then she get in there and get her ass whooped. We'll see. Yeah. Karate with Mr. Miyagi. Man. The commentary is uh, kind of strange. I'd say so. I'd say it's a little strange. Invicta, boy, Invicta. Cut, cut Megan Anderson ass off. Well, listen to your boy coach. Just blow by blow commentary. Yeah, man. Here we go. <laughs> And George said Bridget Bridget look like Wednesday Adams. <laughs> man, it's eleven o'clock, man. I'm fighting to keep my eyes open, man. I'm finna entertain the hell out of y'all. Alright, Claire Guthrie. I think Claire finna whoop somebody ass. Man, what's up, BF damn BFTB in the god doggone building. Man, you coming in here to some WMMA talk? Or some uh, Invicta talk. Well, don't nobody really come to watch this, man. But I got uh, one of the fighters wearing my logo and wearing my brand. So, yeah, man. You got to kind of support it, man. My baby, Talita Bernardo, man. Talita represented my crew, man. They represented me. Seriously. But we sick and tired of Bud Crawford. Man, I've been, I've been rolling, man, because... Uh, 
you know, I don't know, BFTV, you, you have changed my mind about Bud Crawford. Like, at one point I was thinking, nah, everybody just don't Bud for no reason, man. Okay? For real. And, and, and now, listening to you, yeah, Bud Crawford fucked up, man. <laughs> the God Mode conversation, hell. Man, yeah, we can have it. We can have that God Mode conversation. Yep, BFTV, you you single-handedly, because, man, I listen to videos from all the brothers, but BFTV, you single-handedly changed my entire viewpoint. And, yeah, man, you're right. Bud Crawford is a duck. I, I had a hard time believing it. Because, you know, because BFTV, I started thinking, okay, Bud Crawford done been shot in his head, man. So, you know, how can somebody duck somebody, man, after being shot in his head? I said, Clear, surely Bud, Bud can't be afraid, but no, nah, the way you outlined it, the way you outlined it, I was, I'm pretty, I mean, you could have convinced anybody. And and you got me. i like, okay, yep, that's what it is. That's who Bud is. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, you do. You do want to give him the benefit of the doubt, but damn, you know. <laughs> I, I, damn, you're right, man. BFTV, you was right. I mean, hell, my problem with you, BFTV, is that, damn, you just write all the time. That's my problem with you, man. You just write all the damn time. But nah, my favorite thing, man, I, I love when you be saying, uh, you bitch-ass N-word. Ah, then you start laughing. Then you go, ah, you bitch-ass nigga. <laughs> Man, that'd be, that's my favorite. Oh! Oh! Oh, look at this Bridget girl! Oh, she did a Daniel Sun karate kick! God dang! Yo, girl came in there with a flying damn kick. What the hell? Oh, oh, Claire, Claire, Claire. You finna get your ass whooped, Claire. Claire, you gotta let the leg go. You gotta let it go. You gonna have to get a double underhook. Drag this damn woman to the ground. Okay? The problem Claire having is she ain't getting her leg. She got it. You got a tripper. You got a tripper. Oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, BFTV, that's a duck, man. I'm gassed. I want to see it, too. Hell, yeah, man, it's on. Uh, put, turn it on YouTube, man. I'm just giving brothers, you know, giving it the commentary, man. Because, you know, some of them Victor fighters, man, they got on my ass, man, to my, you don't ever cover our events in, like you used to. So I'm going to do it, man. I'm doing it. But, hell, they better come back and watch the archives. Oh, cry baby asses. Uh-oh. Okay. Hey, man. I, I told you this girl Bridget finna get her ass, man. Damn, George says she like Wednesday Adams. <laughs> yeah, combo Chase Wild, man. Ch Chase finna lose this fight, bro. Chase is finna lose the fight. I mean, man, she coming out doing like a damn a, a damn karate kick in the air, man. What the fuck? What the fuck wrong with her BFTV? You bitch ass! <laughs> hey, BFTV, I used to get in trouble, man, imitating people, man. So I, I can imitate anybody in the world. Oh, man. Yeah, man. Hey. Hey, this Bridget girl... Damn, man. Damn. <laughs> she came out trying to drop kick this girl. It's too late now. Hey, man. I'm going to play some music, man. I'm going to play some uh, Adam's Family music. Cause damn, that's who she looked like. Hey, man. I can't stand a cocky-ass fighter, man. I can't stand somebody cocky. This girl came in, did a, drum, a drop kick, man. Came out all aggressive. You know, just, hey, hey, combo, just the same Claire that got her ass whooped. You remember, uh, no, just the same Bridget who got her ass whooped. You remember she came up in there and she was doing all that damn crazy stuff and got knocked out? Yeah, I, I, I think just that same hoe. <laughs> she got her ass knocked out, man. Okay. Yeah, they can be sponsored by OnlyFans. Look, man. These, they, these female fighters ain't stupid. They know. They can get on OnlyFans. Shake their little narrow behinds. 
See, the Bridget, this Bridget kid, man. Yeah, she was in that uh, tournament, man, with Tanisha Tennant. I think Tanisha Tennant beat her ass, man. Oh! Oh, that, hey, man, that spinning kick, man. Hey, that spinning kick was beautiful. That spinning kick was beautiful, man. God, dog. This girl is explosive, man. If Bridget ever calm her ass down and set up, set up her strikes, it, bro, it's a wrap. Oh, my God. Oh. Hey, man. I don't like this Bridget girl, but damn, she entertaining as hell. But see, every single time she start getting control. Now, let me go ahead and tell you, brothers, what, what she got to do, man. She got to get up. See, trying to buck somebody from the ground, it's not going to work, man. Okay? She's going to have to turn, man. And she may even have to give up part of her back, but she got to turn so she can get to her knees. Okay? Now look at Bridget. Bridget getting her ass whooped. Oh, full mount. Full mount. It's the beginning of the end combo. Full mount combo. She got a full mount on a combo. Oh, oh, she getting her ass whooped. Bridget getting her ass whooped. Bridget, oh. Oh, dang. Chase, damn Chase. Her name Chase. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Claire has been calm, man. Claire's been real calm. Claire Guthrie, calm as hell. Calm as hell. Yeah, it's on YouTube, uh, BFTV. You can watch it on YouTube, bro. Just type in Invicta FC50. Yeah, it comes up. Yeah, Chase, wow, man. Chase gonna get caught. I'm telling you. Oh, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, I get that round to clear easily. A reckless opponent, man, is an easy opponent to beat. Ah, uh, damn! Look at Rose Nami Eunice in the audience. Rose got Rose has got to smoking some weed. Ah, uh, damn. <laughs> hey man, they tried. She tried to touch gloves with her, bro. And uh, Bridget wasn't having that shit, man. Bridget jumped up and kicked in the head. Damn, man, that heel kick was nice. Hey man, damn, is that Tanya Evanger? Damn, I bet you ain't gonna shake hands with Bridget no more. Bridget got that swag. Bridget got a fucked up ass head. <laughs> All right. Let me tell you, man. The openings are right there. Oh! Oh, Bridget got dropped. Oh, she got dropped. No, get off of her. Get off of her. Let her stand up. Oh, man. Yeah, Rose Nami Unis high as a kite, man. <laughs> Rose is high as a kite. Yo, man, hey, this is the dumbest one. Claire Guthrie is stupid. You just dropped it. You dropped it, man. The girls can cuss. Get the hell up off of her. Okay, stand up. Let this girl stand and hit her, man. God, dog. You, you just cost yourself a knockout. Man, God dang. Crazy, bro. Crazy. How stupid can you be? This girl literally, bro, you can tell she can cuss. Get the hell up. Just get up. Uh-oh. Knee bar. Knee bar. Oh, wait a minute. No. That's a knee bar. Bruh, come on. This is stupid. This is stupid. This girl is out. She's concussed. Get up and punch this girl. And she got her feet in her face now. Get up and punch her right in the mouth, bruh. That's all she got to do. Get up and hit her, man. The damn woman can cuss like a mother. Man, look. All right. Let the heel hook go. Let the knee bar go. Let all that go. Get up. See? Now you don't let this girl reverse it. See? Man, Octagon IQ sucks, bro. She got poor Octagon IQ. Now what you going to try to do? Yeah, you trying to shift to a knee bar. That ain't going to work. 
and people don't, you know, it's very rare that a person gets submitted from a knee bar or a heel hook. Why the hell she still got this hell, I don't know. Okay. I don't know, George, I guess. Yeah, man, she need, She should have got up when she had the chance. She should have got up when she had the chance, but nope, she ain't do it. Okay. This girl, Bridget, trying to get up out of there, man. Yeah, you got to be really good, man, to get an ankle lock. You got to be good to make somebody tap from that, man. Like, you have to be like, you know, it's, it's some black belts that can't make people tap out from an ankle lock. Okay, like, I, the only people I've seen get ankle lock tap outs are those damn grand master jujitsu practitioners with the red stripes. I've seen them dudes do it. I've seen them do, oh, man, look at this. You don't let Bridget reverse this. and you, Bridget finna steal this round back. <laughs> yeah, Tanisha Tennant gonna smash him, man. Tanisha Tennant should have been in the UFC, man. But See, they, they, they know Tanisha Tennant will come up in there. And they know Tanisha Tennant will, go, will get all the way to the belt. She that good, but they be trying to call Tanisha Bourne. But they, they say that to every black fighter that's defensive, man. Tanisha Tennant is the female Floyd Mayweather of MMA. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Come on. Come on. Man. Claire Guthrie is an idiot, bro. She, she don't deserve to win this fight, man. You let this girl recover. You let this girl steal the round back from you. Like, damn, what the hell, bro? Claire Guthrie is an idiot. Claire Guthrie is an idiot, for real. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you know, man, she should have got up, man. She should have She should have actually... Before she got into this predicament, okay, she should have, you know, gotten up and allowed the girl to get up so she can continue just punching in her face. Man. Yeah. Wow, this is a good fight, y'all. This is a damn good fight. All right. Yeah, man, we're going to round two. That damn girl jumped out the corner, y'all. Karate kicked that girl in the face. That shit was funny as hell. But that's how you got to do, man. Girl, no, girl ain't coming there to be nobody friend. She's coming there to get a victory, man. She's trying to make some money. Damn, boy. Look at this dude right here. <laughs> dude done sprayed his hair black, man. And this dude got an afro mullet. Feel so hot in here, damn. <laughs> Joy said they finally put up a clock, damn. Oh, man, double A tape now. Oh, yeah, she got that tape now early. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, here we 
go. Full amount. Full amount. Well, yeah, clear go through. We got control of this fight again, man. Yeah, I'm up. I'm up. I'm up, George. I'm up. Well, I'm waiting on one fight. <laughs> one. George, I'm up, bro. I'm up. I'm up, bro. I'm up. I'm up. Just when the fight get boring, man, you know? All right, but seriously, though, okay, here we go. Oh, Claire Guthrie, she took the back. Yeah. That's it. Claire Guthrie won this fight, y'all. I'm just going to tell you that now. Now, the good thing about me is I'll, I'll let you know the fight's born when I go to sleep, okay? Yeah, good win for Claire. I, I just wasn't impressed. I just was not impressed. I just wasn't impressed. Yeah, what a performance, Claire. Yeah. yeah Claire, Claire dominated that last round.
Okay, give it a post-fight interview, please. Mm -hmm. This ain't my thing, man. I'm doing commentary. This, this, yeah, it is. Not doing the week. I tell you what, though. This girl, Bridget, she got some really good moves, man, but she just too reckless, bro. And you don't last long in MMA being this damn reckless. You just, you just don't. You don't, you don't last long in mixed martial arts when you come out reckless, man. You just, it's like she out of control. I'm like, damn, what the hell, you jumping all over the octagon like you. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what she say. All right. Who's she gonna call out, George? can't make this stuff up. Rest to clear. She won. I knew she would. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, who's next? I'm just waiting on one fight, guys. No, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Brother man can't do it. I tried. Claire, good job. <laughs> she said, Claire, mama. Interview that Bridget girl. Bridget ass is reckless as hell.
we go. Yep. Here we go. Catarina Liner. Liner. Either you know how to fight or you don't. Yeah, I'm awake now, George. Yeah, now what Toledo is going to have to do, I'm awake now. <laughs> Marshmallow pies. Crazy. Man, what Toledo is going to have to bait this girl. Really bait this girl. Bait her. Damn, did I miss the walkout? Damn, I sure here did, didn't I? Hold on. Yeah, Toledo rolling out. Yeah, she got my logo on. Hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> Hell yeah, she got my logo on. Her and her husband got it on. Man, Toledo. Uh. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy, man. My club team, man. Wow. Okay. Like, Toledo actually walked out to the octagon with my club team on, man. Yeah, bro. No, she did it. Dude, she, she, she walked to the octagon with my gear on, bro. Holy shit. I, I ain't good dude. You know, I, I thought she was only going to just put it on the banner. Nah, Toledo represented, man. Alright, they touch gloves. Alright, Lena gonna come in here and try to pepper with strikes. Yeah, she gotta get it to the ground pretty pretty hard, bro. Ooh, good leg kick by Toledo. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, Lena Lena got some hands, man. But you know, I don't know. Lena, Lena, Lena been losing. Like she, she lost like her last three fights, man. And it's because, man, you know, apparently her grappling, her wrestling, isn't great. But also, too, I think Lena's. Oh, oh, Toledo got knocked down. Damn. Ooh, girl, you can't take too many of those. Yeah, Toledo took a hard, nasty shot, bro. She can't take too many of them shots, man. Yeah, she pumping a jab, but nah, let's get the fight to the ground, baby. Get the fight to the ground. There we go. Oh, fight's on the ground. Got her to the ground. Lena gonna try to get back up. Oh, shit. She finna choke her ass out. Oh, hell. Yeah, Toledo got the back, man. She got the fight to the ground where we needed it at. Okay, now, Lena... Is Liner is gonna have to get out of this somehow? Don't know. Okay. Um, and I sponsored Toledo, so I ain't. Fin oh hell, she finna get this rear naked choke, bro. All right. So Toledo got the back, man, and her jujitsu is finna start working for. Her. Okay, so Toledo's gonna loosen her up, man, and she's trying to get that arm up underneath the chin. Okay, Toledo's going to have to soften her up a little bit. She's got to throw some light shots here and there. And she also she also got to keep those legs wrapped around that waist. Okay, keep the guard closed. All right, so she's going to have to soften her up a little bit, though. All right, and so this is Toledo's world. Uh, you know, Carolina Lanner more than likely she won't be getting up from this position. Yeah, Toledo is wide open for them right hands, man. 
Yeah, if she didn't get it to the ground, man, she probably would have got hit again, man, got clocked. Because I don't know if Talita's chin is really all that. It's not as great. She can take a shot or two, man, but, you know, she can't take too many of those. Like, Talita going to have to get this submission, and she's going to have to do it, bro. So, okay, she's trying to get a rear naked choke in there. Now what she's doing, she's cranking on the girl's face. And see, that's going to soften up the arms. That's an old jujitsu trick, man. To uh, get somebody to move their hands so you can get up, 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 so you can get your arms up underneath that chin. And that's what Talita trying to do. But, Kara, but, Kara, but Katarina Lana, she's aware of what's going on. And, you know, she's going to try to block. But she's not getting out of this body lock. Or this, well, body lock or body triangle. She's not going to get out of that. Um... And what Toledo really need to do is try to flatten her out, man. She need to try to roll over and flatten her ass out. That's what she need to do. Okay, she almost got that arm up underneath the chin. She got a minute and 20 seconds left. Okay, another minute and 20 seconds. Um, she need to work, though, man. Change positions and let's move. I, I'm, oh, okay. So Carolina, she got, uh, Katarina got those arms moved. Man, man, oh, man, oh, man. Okay, this is going to be tough. Uh, she's trying to get that submission, though. Salida's going to keep working it, but this is where you want to try to get a submission because by round three, it's going to be hard because, you know, both of the fighters are going to be a little bit sweaty, you know, going to be very, very sweaty. So, you know. Okay, oh, I think it's, it's almost underneath. Yeah, it's almost underneath. She about, Nah, she got up out of there. Nah, she's not getting back up to her feet. <laughs> Once the fight's on the ground, she she's not getting back up. But Toledo cannot eat too many of them right hands, bro. She can't do that. And, you know, she's not she's not a striker, bro. That's not a thing. Okay, damn, damn, damn. She's trying to get it. Dude, dude, dude. She could have got up underneath. A good submission defense by Carolina Liner, man. I mean, yeah. Okay, so Carolina reversed, but this this is not much, man. Because what Toledo is just going to do, just put up in the guard and try to triangle choke her, and that's the end of the round. Okay, so let's see what happens, man. Um, Toledo got to protect that chin, man. She got to keep those hands up. And see, Carolina, Katarina is going to be a little bit loose, Okay. She's going to be real loose. And see, she's going to be open for them takedowns. But what Toledo has to do, she got to wait to Carolina commit to those open hand strikes. I'm talking about the real wild, wild crazy one. What's up, Sports Princess? That knockdown was brutal, man. And I agree with Combo. Like, she's, she's open. She's open for them right hands, and she got to be careful. Yeah. Now, this is ultimately for who's going to fight for the belt, you know. This, this is what it is. Yeah. But I'm a combo. She can't, she can't eat too many in right hands because Lionel is going to, she's going to find home. And see, Lionel is going to come in again. Yeah, she got her hands too far apart. And you can kind of tell that this, you know, Talita is not a, she's not a striker. Because she got her hands the way she placed in her hands. You have to put those hands underneath that, you got to put those hands underneath that chin and protect that chin, man. Because see, Leonard is a very precise striker. Okay. And this time, Leonard is going to be expecting a takedown. Good body shot by Leonard. But Talita got to get this thing back to the ground because if it don't, it's going to get ugly real fast. Okay, double jab by Leonard. So Toledo don't really know how to deal with that. Ooh, another takedown. Ooh, good takedown defense by Leonard. Nah, Toledo got a hold of that leg, bro. It's, it's going to the ground. Yep, it's going to the ground. Nah, yeah, she wasn't getting out of that, man. She wasn't getting out of that. What's up, Sports Princess, baby? How you doing? Okay. Yeah, you know, this in time, it's going to be a problem, man. Like, Toledo got 
over four, four minutes to work. An arm bar right here would be ideal, bro. An arm bar would be ideal, but she's going to try to submit this girl. Um, head and arm choke, maybe. Okay. A head and arm choke probably will work. Okay, so what Bernardo's going to do, she's going to try to step over. And she's going to try to step over. And then she's going to try to transition into an arm bar. Okay. But she's got to step over. Okay. Definitely, definitely got, she's going to try to step over. Yeah, man. Yeah, bro. Yeah, you don't give a jiu-jitsu practitioner this much time. Yep, she's stepping over. There she go. Okay. I told you, she's about to step over. Now, arm bar. Is she finna get that arm bar, bro? She finna get that arm bar's coming. Ah, oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, Lana got out of it, man. Hey, good submission defense by Leonard, man. Okay, so Talita stepped back over. Okay, I think she's going to try to go for that arm bar again. She gonna, but she got to step over one more time. She got to step over one more time. And then she can put her weight on that arm and, and, and actually execute the arm bar. Yeah, Leonard, though, she's starting to catch on to the angles of the takedowns. And so Toledo's going to have to be a little bit more tricky, man, in getting these things to the ground. Okay, all right. So, see, I told you, she got she's going to step over one more time. And then she's going to try to get that arm bar. That's where this fight going to go. Um... The defense of Liner, though, I'm, I'm real impressed with her submission defense because Bernardo is trying to do a lot of different things, man. She tried to go for a Kimura. Then, you know, she tried to go for an arm bar, and she got out of the arm bar. Okay. All right. So, Leonard, Toledo got to be aware of these up kicks because an up kick can be a, an instant knockout, bro. Okay, we've seen a couple of fighters get, get beat by a couple of up kicks, man. We've seen that. All right, uh, Leonard trying to get a triangle. Okay, an arm triangle. Uh, okay, this is jiu-jitsu black belt. Leonard, Leonard isn't going to get that off, and it's not going to work. That's not going to work. Um, so Toledo's going to put her weight down on her. Okay, going to roll her. All right, so now, yep, she's going for the arm bar. There it is. She got it. She's going for the arm bar. She can get it this time. Okay. She got to just keep, she got to see her hips back. Damn. Damn. Kimura. Tapped out with a Kimura. Tapped out with a Kimura. Damn. She was going to get one or the other, bro. Damn, she popped that whole shoulder out. She popped that whole shoulder out. Bruh. Oh, my God. Toledo got the stoppage. Man. Hey, look at Toledo's husband, man. She got my, he got my logo on. Um, he got my logo on. <laughs> they got the coach's uh, team logo on. God dang, y'all. This is crazy, man. I, I would have never thought, like, you know, a fighter would wear my team logo from my U plug. Yeah, I get a little excited about this stuff. What the hell up with that dude beard, bro? Very high level. That Kamura was nasty, bro. But I, I am, I'm kind of going to concur with Combo, okay? I'm going to concur with Combo breaking 99 right now. Um, here go the thing, y'all. Yes, okay, this was good. This was a good win. 
Okay. I concur with Combo. She's going to have to tighten that defense up on the feet, man, because there are some people out here that know how to stop takedowns. Okay? There's some people that know how to stop a takedown, and so she's going to have to really, really tighten up, man, on her defense. Uh, be able to pump the jab a little bit so she can get the fight to the ground because people are going to expect that. And you're going to have people like Tanisha Tennant that they're going to they're going to anticipate that. They're going to wait for that. But getting the fight to the ground for her, Toledo, was easy, man. And then she popped the arm, bro. A Kimura, I'm going to tell you, man, if you ever been in a Kimura, a damn Kimura hurt like a mother. I'm talking about that's something you tap to that instantly, bro. You you don't you don't try to fight a Kimura out, cause you can actually tear your whole shoulder out. Yeah, but man, shout out to Toledo Bernardo, bro. She she wore my gear out to the octagon, bro. Like I was shot. Man, man. Damn, sports princess. I'm sorry, sorry shit happening that to you. Sorry that's happening to you, baby. Now, Toledo is on a three-fight win streak right now. Yep. Tighter shot. Yeah, sorry, sports princess. I'm sorry all that shit have to happen to you, girl. Uh, let's see how. Let's see what she's gonna say. She speak English because me and her talk English. She gonna fight Tanisha Tennant. Uh oh. Congrats. Bruh, they got on my they they got on my hat, my higher power hat. They got on my higher power hat, y'all. I can't believe this shit. My goodness, y'all. I'm ready to cut the live stream off right now. Like legit, bro. They got on my they they got on my higher power stuff, bro. Yeah, but I'm gonna tell you combo about uh, Katarina Liner, man. I'm gonna tell you about Katarina Liner. I'm gonna tell you about it, folks. Seriously though, Katarina Liner, okay. I don't know, man, how, how focused she is on fighting, though, bro. Because, you know, this girl will shake her ass with the best of them. And it's like she put more emphasis on that, man. Yeah, I'm watching Toledo wear our stuff out. Yeah. But Talita, she's going to have to have a different game plan when she fights Tanisha. 
she's got to have a different game plan. Um, the thing of it is, man, a fighter like Tanisha Tennant, Tanisha Tennant is real slick. She's slick. And she's, she's going to be very hard to submit. Tanisha is gonna be hard to she's gonna be hard to submit because she's so smooth and fluid with her movement. Yeah. Damn. But if it if it's me and if, if I gotta fight Tanisha Tennant, um, I'm definitely gonna work on my strike, my defense. Because the problem is the problem is like you're not gonna be able to um you're not gonna be able to strike with Tanisha, okay? We we, we understand that. But your defense need to be intact where you can block some of those incoming strikes. And you're gonna have to block and then take the fight to the ground. Uh, hold on, boy. I'm gonna get the champ. So I gotta. I don't, I'm, I'm gonna cover the title fight, which I don't want to, but hell, I'll do it. Yeah, that's the fight I wanted to see. That's it. Hey, man. Appreciate my homeboy Combo breaking 99, man. I mean, damn, man. Appreciate Combo for hanging around. Got no Invicta cards and calling Invicta fights. It's not the funnest thing to do. I'm just being honest, okay? It's not fun. But appreciate George Page, you know, appreciate him hanging out. Just all you silly mofos. Hold on. Ah, fuck. Shut up. Oh, excuse me. But yeah, appreciate everybody hanging out, man. Uh, and shout out to my girl Toledo Bernardo for making this shit happen. Okay, uh, you know she put on my fight gear. Yeah, man, it do. It, it puts you to sleep, bro. It really do, man. It puts you to sleep, bro. And Victor, and Victor cars are hard, man. I, I'm not gonna even lie. It's not something that I would want to call. Um, because it's like you would have to be there, man, live to really really make it count it's just it's tough bro because it's it just depends man like the entertainment sometimes on invicta cards it sometimes they good sometimes they not but this this invicta it was pretty it was pretty boring man I ain't gonna even lie and you know me man i always give it up for the ladies i always do Okay, so I'm gonna go. 
and what I'm going to do is, hold on, let me crop this video. Yeah, it's a leader back. Damn, it got knocked out. Okay. <laughs> Sports Princess says, when is Megan Anderson going to retire? I mean, <laughs> uh, we don't know. Megan might retire. She might retire tomorrow. Yeah, so Toledo coming back here in January, man. So I gotta, I'm going to give her some more gear. That's what she wants. But I, I told her I'd get her some gear with the Brazilian flag on it. And she said, okay. Yeah, I ain't even lie. I sponsored the shit out of Toledo. I ain't even lie. I sponsored the shit out of her, bro. When I tell you guys I sponsored the shit out of her, I sponsored the shit out of her. <laughs> I sponsored the shit out of her. Hold on, guys. Okay. I'll do some editing here. I'm talking about I sponsored the shit out of her. Like, man, I was, um, so what I started doing. What I started doing with her, bro. I said, hey, every time you model some of my gear, I said, I'm going to break you off a little bit, okay? And so then, man, the mug started just modeling the shit all over the place. I said, damn. <laughs> I said, what? Did Toledo got some hats made, man. <laughs> ain't even, dude, ain't even make no hat gear. Dude, Toledo went and made that shit herself, bro. Bro, I, I was weak. I was weak. I was weak. <sighs> I was weak as hell. I mean, not literally physically weak, but I was weak. <laughs> Ah, oh, man. Yeah, but but I like them, man. They they good people, bro. And uh, you know, they want me to come to the fight in January. They want me to. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if I can make it happen, bro. I'm gonna see if I can get on out there and be that live in the audience. That's that's what they want. But you know. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Kind of cutting, editing some video right quick. Got to get my homie. But that damn Kamura was nasty. All right, hold on. Give me a minute, guys. I'll get to the main event in a minute. Ah oh, man, the main event coming, guys. Jiu-Jitsu is a mother. I'll tell you though. Yo, but hey, George, have you noticed, man, how Carolina Leonard, man, like, damn, dude, George, just last year, bro, she looked a little young. And now you look at Carolina Liner, dude, she look old as hell, bro. Like, George, te tell me ain't lying. Yeah, I like Tina Black. Hold on, Combo. I'm finna cover it, too, man. I'm, I'm covering the shit, man. Combo, I wish me, me and me. Hey, Combo, next time they do this, man, dude, let's you and me both get on live, bro. Like, seriously. Let's you and me both get on live, man, and cover the damn fight. Like me, let's do a double commentary, bro. Come on. 
I'm like, you think I'm playing, bro? I'm talking about a double commentary. Hold on, guys. We finna get the main event coming up pretty soon. Oh, damn, they go that Kimura. Oh, damn. Oh! Damn, that's a nasty Kimura. Okay. Alright, guys. Let me get back to covering the main event. I'm sorry. Okay, so Tina Black, oh, good straight right hand by Tina Black. I think Tina Black can push the action on this girl, man, and go on to get up out of there. That's what I'm thinking, Combo. I think Tina Black can go on and push this action, man. She She's definitely got the better hands, got the better speed, got the better movement, man. She can push, she can push, push the gas on this man and really get this fight going. That's what I think. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. But Tina Black, man. Oh! Oh, overhand right by, uh, uh, Wojcicki or whatever. Yeah, she caught Tina Black right on the chin, bro. Okay. I see why Tina Black fight defensively now, bro. Um, and I don't know, man. Let's hope, I, I hope she can take a shot, bro. I hope Tina Black can take a damn shot. This girl, man, well, Jisuke, she don't have no skill, bro, but she just aggressive, bro. She aggressive as hell, and I think that's that's the thing, man. She's so damn aggressive. And shit, when you're aggressive, bro, I mean, shh, anything could happen. God damn, boy. Uh, boy, talk about getting the ass whooped. Who's that <laughs> George, get out them CBD products, George Page. Oh, wow. Yeah, Tina don't want to get hit, bro. She do a lot of backing up. Yeah, okay. Tina, I love this foot movement by Tina, man. I just, I kind of want Tina to settle down, though. And I want her to sit down on some of her shots. Okay, and I don't know if Combo Breaker 99 agree with that or not. But, uh, you know, I definitely value his opinion. Um... Okay, I like the jab and overhand right by Tina. The foot movement is great, man. It's just, I think she's just moving up too much. She's moving back too much, bro. And I think Tina knows that she, and see, one thing she's doing, she got her hands down. And, uh, you know, Tina, you got to get those hands up. You know, Tina reminds me of some of those old Brazilian fighters that, used, that fights in uh, shoot box. Like that, you know, like they, they, they do that shoot box. And shoot box, man, is effective, man. But, you know, the defense on shoot box is not that great. And that's the thing, okay? Um, but your thoughts on that combo breaking 99? Hell, combo. Let, damn, come on, man. Look, this is the title for it. Here, let me just throw the link out. Damn, forget it. I ain't got to ask combo. I mean, I hope you got some time, man. Let me just throw the damn link out to combo, man. Shit. Just throw the damn link out right now. It's going to be five rounds, man. Combo, why the hell I ain't think about this before, bro? See my, see my mofo. Uh, 
right, let me see if combo, man. You got some time, combo. Throw this link in there, bro. Hey, combo. I'm just, I'm gonna be lazy, bro. I'm gonna put it in the stream, in the, in the chat. Yeah, if you feel like you want to come on in and call this fight, man, let's call it. All right. Only combo, guys. Hey, do me a favor, guys. Don't nobody pop up in the link, all right? Hold on, guys. Waiting on combo. All right. Let me see, my boy. All right. Combo might have had to take a dip for a minute. Okay. All right. I'll wait. I'll see if combo going to roll up in the building. All right. Probably had to get off, man. Okay. Um, Tina Black. I li I like her foot movement though. Damn, bro, this girl can move, bro. This girl Tina Black can move. Like she really, really is so fluid. But it's just I don't like the hands being down because you're gonna get set up and somebody with you know a, some decent power they're gonna catch you. And this girl right here, this girl, Wojcicki, she like to throw a lot of shots. She like to throw a lot of damn shots. Um, and Black, if she's gonna fight in this style, she gotta, she gotta at least jab, stick that jab, you know, stick the jab, make, uh, make Wojcicki walk into something, man. You know, make, make her walk into something. Set up, set a trap. Okay. <coughs> I like the jab though of Tina Black. I love her jab, but this is for the belt. You got to come better than that. You got to come better than what you're doing. This is for the damn belts, for all the marbles. <coughs> all right, I'll take the link out the stream. I, I thought my boy Combo was still in, but he's probably out of there. Okay. So does anybody know if Chris Cyborg? Anybody know if Chris Cyborg made a comment, or she criticized damn uh uh did Chris uh, Cyborg criticize Paulo Costa for being anti-Semitic? Maybe somebody can tell me. I'm just checking. I'm just checking to see. She criticized Paulo Costa, okay, for being anti-Semitic. <laughs> yeah, I like Machado, man, but Machado got to, you know, she got to make it do what it do. See this this style stylistically, this if Machado is victorious, this is gonna be very, very it's gonna be a difficult sports princess. It's gonna be difficult for her to retain the belt fighting like this. Um in the UFC they're gonna have a hard time signing her because she's got to she's gotta be able to win, but it's gotta be impressive, you know. Tina Black, though. What's up? Oh, let's drink my water.
say yeah, man. And George said nope. George, George, a hater. George is a hater. This, this fight's kind of boring. Um, I ain't gonna lie to y'all and tell you it's a fun fight. This fight's boring, boring as hell. I'm about to go to bed too. I don't, I sh bro. This fight is boring, boring as hell. Like, damn, dude. Oh, shit. Ugh. Okay. Now, now Machado Black starting to actually push the button. Okay? She's starting to try to push the button. Trying to put her foot on the gas, man. That's what I wanted to do. Oh, clocking her, man. Tagging her. Yeah, you know, Machado fights in a style where she frustrates the hell out of her opponent because they wanted to fight and be still, but she ain't doing it. She ain't trying to get hit. It ain't cool to take punishment. <laughs> I agree. Oh, man. Good one, too. <laughs> yeah, man. George, we definitely need some coffee, bro. This crazy. This fight boring as F, bro. This fight boring as hell. Oh, George, I know what you're saying no about with Chris Cyborg. Yeah, yeah. Chris Cyborg ain't came out about Paulo Costa yet. I'm still waiting on that. And I don't know if she's going to do it. Tell you, bro. I'm about to, I'm probably about to go to bed, bro. Then black wipe her nose and then put the blood on on her shorts, man. Yeah, yeah you know, yeah, let black do that. <laughs> Definitely ain't fan friendly, but you know, good technical matchup though. 
just it's just not enough offense. Okay, let's see who won. I think Black won it. Yeah, that's pretty true. Black, Machado Black. Damn, Machado Black running around the octagon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Tina has a polarizing personality, to be honest. Um, her personality, even though she don't speak a lot of English, she's got a very, very polarizing personality, like, you're gonna, you, you kind of, you want to see her, but, you know. Okay. Yeah, Tina should be there. Should be there. Wow, George, I can't believe I survived this long. Damn. Well, Invicta FC, Invicta Fighting Championships 50 is coming to a close. Um, thank you guys for joining me live. The coach is finna be out. He going to bed. George, salute to, salute to that brother, George Page, man. Salute to that brother, George Page. In the god dog on building, salute my baby sports princess. Um, salute to Toledo for you know for repping us hard, deuces.